is up in Memphis, you guys can tell we are not out on the water today. Instead, we're doing something that uh, I think all of us fishermen really, really enjoy, probably more than we should, and that is getting brand new tackle. Now, as I kind of hinted to you in a couple past videos, I'm going on a really badass trip. Um, I'm going bass fishing, and I'm going bass fishing for trophy largemouth bass to somewhere I have never fished before. And I'm going to be doing it with someone that is an expert in the field. I can't be more freaking jacked. We'll talk a little bit more about that trip towards the end of this video. But, uh, of course, if you're going to go on a trip like this, go after some big old slaunchy fish. Um, you can't use the oodles and ridiculous amounts of tackle you've already acquired over the years. you got to go out and you got to buy a whole bunch of new freaking tackle. You guys told me you wanted to see the unboxing of this spring fishing tackle. And in these boxes, we have some giant new swim baits. We have some small swim baits. We've got some stuff you guys maybe never seen before. And we've got all sorts of brand new stuff from Six Sense Fishing. We're not going to go through each specific item. But I'm going to show you guys the cool stuff that I'm excited for. And then you're going to hopefully be seeing some of these baits in the next coming days. Let's get down to it. Let's open some shit up. Okay, let's start with this guy right here. This is, uh, we're going to just start with some fire all of a sudden out of nowhere. Out the gate, we're going to start with some fire. Uh, I know there's some swimming baits in here. Oh my god. This is like one of the most exciting baits I've been looking forward to in this entire unboxing. Look at these dudes right here. These are little bluegill swim baits. Um, they're called the ja Imakatsu Javagil 110 size and the 90 size. They come in a four pack. These are actually not the most natural colors they even have. They have some super natural like photo image, I don't even know how they got it in there, um, colors, but they were sold out of those. So we ended up with these which look pretty damn natural to me. I mean that right there is the size that they're eating at like every freaking lake. The rigging is interesting for this bait. I'm going to have to kind of show you guys something about that. I'm not sure how we're even going to figure that Look at that, that's kind of weird. This guy comes completely, his back comes out. That is odd. Put that back in there. We wanna wreck some baits. These are like 22 bucks, 25 bucks for four of them. So we don't wanna screw it up. There's like a screw lock in there. I don't know, we're gonna have to spend some more time figuring out the best rigging. But if we can get that to do that in the water, I think we can catch some damn fish on them. Here's some really not exciting things. I got some, uh, some hooks. I needed some new wacky hooks, these weedless wackies. Be good for Nikos, be good for about everything else. And now let's get into back into some more fires. We had to get some eight inch Huddleston swim baits. These are both Roth 12, I really like Roth 12. Trout color, IU color, this is gonna be a good one around here. We don't have trout in a lot of our lakes and that's kind of just a natural bait fish color. Obviously, rainbow trout. Where we're going, probably gonna have a couple trouts. Also got a uh, 68 special, if you're not familiar, Huddleston 68. It's the size of the tail of the eight inch on a six inch length bait. So it gives off a bigger thump. You guys have seen me throwing that the last couple times. I got a, got a good bite on that a couple videos ago at that farm pond. And then, last but not least, Little Creeper Trash Fish that now comes in the eight inch size. So um, I saw a rigging method system, Tactical Bassin did actually, where you put a hook and a jig head inside there and the hook's top hook, or we can uh, we can put that on like a 12 aught owner beast. It's a big dude though, and it looks badass. I've had the smaller sizes of those in the past. They are freaking sick. Okay, that's that package. Let's get into package numero dos. This is, uh, this is not as exciting of a package, although it is completely freaking badass because if you guys watched the walleye fishing video where me and Brian went and met RJ, we did some spillway fishing. At the spillway, RJ absolutely waxed us using a very specific swim bait. And it's a swim bait that I've used in the past, but not as much um, as some other ones that I really like to use. It's like the Kitek Fat Impacts that everyone's using. No, he was using these. So I had to go get a couple million of them. Look at these. I got about, I got a bunch of different, actually I only got like three or four different colors, but this is the one right here, the Kitek Easy Shiner. I'll take it out and I'll show you guys what's different about this bait. It's longer, it's more slender, it doesn't have the rib body that everyone on the market has decided to go knock off. Um, but it's thinner, it's got a nice thin profile, not quite as big of a profile, and it's got a really light, lively tail, if you can see right there. And that gives this dude insane action, um, super slow speed action, action on the fall. A little bit of everything. It's not the big, wide um, kicking action of the uh, the fat impact. Um, this is a lot more natural, subtle bait. Uh, but as you guys saw, RJ absolutely went and killed us on the walleye. And these guys work great for bass too. They work great on Alabama rigs. Super jacked to get these out. These used to only come in like three, four, five, six inch sizes, and now they come in three and a half and four and a half inch sizes also, which is a really good size. 
This is the uh, the four and a half inch. I got a bunch of those. This color is Sight Flash, so it's a better, more stained water color. Um, this one right here is a four inch sexy shad color, as you can see. It's it's pretty sexy. I mean, I eat it for sure. And then they came out this new color too. I'm pretty jacked about this new color. It's called Mossback Golden Shad. So that's gonna look a lot like a lot of the bluegill we have in our lakes. Um, and obviously shad if they're got a lot of gold hues to them. Gizzard Shad was another color that I got, more of a natural color. Um, and then here's some more right here. This is Threadfin Shad, another very popular color. Um, yeah, I got a whole bunch though because these don't last very long. They're not very durable. Um, and, I, and I like to, to use them and go through them a whole bunch on my swim swim bait heads. A lot of swim baits to get put in the old boxes. Freaking crazy amounts. I'm not gonna dump those out because I need to keep them somewhat organized. They're about to go on the boat to be loaded into some boxes to be loaded to go where I'm going for my trip. Okay, next box. We will do this one. Okay, yeah, I'm jacked for this one too. This was actually an eBay purchase because I think the majority, if not all, yeah, all of these baits that are in here, these swim baits, are not available most places on the market yet, and I'm super jacked. I had to have some for myself. You guys might have seen these at iCast. I think I maybe showed them at iCast, but maybe not. This is a Savage Gear bait. It's called the Pulse Tail. What's the official word? The Lion Through Pulse Tail Shad. Savage Gear has made swim baits like this in the past, but what sets this one apart, let's take this one out. I got three different sizes and three different colors. This color is Hitch. And it's a really cool looking color, uh, once again, that they, they, they've printed that head detail on there. So as you guys can see, it's like really, really natural head detail. Um, we need to take a look at the rigging system for this bait though and see how it works because it looks like, yeah, you actually have a line through system that can work on the top there. This guy's badass though because it's a lot like the Huddleston tail. It's got this same wedge tail type right there, except to get around the Huddleston patent for that vortex wedge tail. They added this little, they call it cleavage right there. You gotta love the cleavage in that uh, that bait tail right there. So it's not a patent infringement. I'm not for infringing on patents or anything like that. But I do like when, when baits can come out that are similar to other baits, but they're gonna potentially add some advantages. Like there's no Huddlestons with this natural of a paint job. And you know, they've gotten used to seeing these Huddleston tails at a lot of these more pressured swim bait lakes. So it's gonna be something different. I need to look more into the rigging method. I'm sure it says somewhere on the back or online. I probably won't keep it on the bottom like that. That's actually, that doesn't look terrible at all right there on the bottom with that rigged just like so, um, especially if I'm fishing it over deeper water, but I'm probably going to want to put the line through and the hook on top like that. So we need to we need to mess around some more. This is the, the eight inch size. I also got the 10 inch size. Look at that big bastard right there. Let's take that out. You know what, I wanna, I wanna know the, uh, the sizes on these two. Unfortunately, the sizes are like, they're, they're labeled wrong online all over the place for these pulse tails. I've seen the eight inch say that they're like an ounce and a half, which if you know Huddleston's, they weigh like five and a half ounces. That's like not even possible for a chunk of plastic this big. It says on here, this thing is eight inches and three and two thirds of an ounce. So really a manageable thinner bait that's not that big and clumsy to throw. I'll definitely be able to throw that on that, that Melican fishing rod, my new swim bait rod in the mf -er series that's going to be uh, out hopefully, like I tell you guys all the time, in July. Let's take a look at the size of this guy right here though. This is the 10 inch, says seven ounces. So that's really not bad for a 10 inch plastic bait. Take this guy out. This color is carp. Um, we have a whole lot of carp. Wow, I love the profile and the realism of the scales on that guy. That is insane. I'm gonna like these a lot. I have a good feeling I'm gonna be using the hell out of these. If you guys wanna see more swim bait videos, please comment below. I love throwing, shooting swim bait videos, and I, I wanna know if you guys wanna see them. Another thing that's great about these, these Savage Gears are the price on them. This is the 10 inch bait. If you're familiar with the Huddlestons, they came out with a 10 inch bait and they charged like $82 for it, which is crazy because the eight inch is only like $35. So they added two inches and added $50 to the price tag. I understand more material, but it seems like price gouging a little bit, but uh, this guy, $24.99. So this is cheaper than the eight, eight inch HUD, the 10 inch bait. So I'm pretty jacked about it. Super realistic cart pattern on that guy. I'm gonna be throwing this guy a whole lot. I'm super jacked about that. Then I also got a 10 inch in this rainbow trout pattern. Really, really nice looking trout pattern. I might have to get 
some more of these actually. Um, and once I use them, I'll just tell you guys the sink rates, everything else with them. Looks like it comes, these bigger sizes come with some nail weights, so I assume that's to adjust the sink rate as well. I don't know, we got some tinkering to do. Uh, throw this guy around. And then we also got, I got a six inch size. So the six inch size is super manageable for you guys. You don't even need a swim bait rod to throw this. I'm gonna take him out real quick. Actually, I got a six inch trout too. Let's take the trout out since you guys haven't seen that color. It's only $13.99. I know that's expensive for a lot of people, but if you're familiar with the swim bait game, I think the six inch Huddleston's $24.99. So yeah, wow, this guy is not heavy at all. That little rigging system is pretty sharp on there. I'm excited to see what the action looks like on this guy. Um, super, super cool looking little natural bait. Seems like a smaller profile a little bit than the six inch HUD. Also got a uh, six inch carp, eight inch carp, and eight inch carp. I think I got eight inch hitch too, but they didn't have it in stock. So they're back ordering it and send it to me later. Um, this eight inch hitch, but I think I got two of the eight inch hitch or something. These are badass, love them. All right, last but not least, before we get into the trip details a little bit more, um, let's open up this big old sexy six cents fishing box. I got a whole bunch of new tackle. I'm kind of restocking a bunch of tackle as well. You guys know how that goes. I've already been out fishing and blown through a bunch of tackle. Um, but I also got some new stuff, some cool new stuff. So there's a whole bunch in here. Now, first and foremost, we got these guys right here. The six cents, I got, I think I got five of each color, but six cents rod sleeves now come in a bunch of different colors. They're neoprene and it's so badass to have neoprene rod sleeves. The hooks don't stick in the sleeves like they do the mesh ones. The mesh ones are a freaking pain in the ass. And these are, I think they're 10 bucks. They're almost the same price as the mesh ones. Of course, if you use the promo code MF10, you can also get all the tackle that's in this box right here for cheaper than anywhere else in the market. So you might as well go freaking do that. I'll link it down below. Got our 10 rod sleeves. I got a couple quakes. This is one of the quakes, just a shad colored quake right there. And I got a stupid amount of swim bait heads. Definitely gonna need those for those, uh, those easy shiners I just showed you. But I have so many swim bait heads, all different sizes, colors. I like that one, that's like a bluegill color swim head, swim bait head. But yeah, these are the best freaking swim bait heads I've found. The screw lock, good quality hook, realism in the head. They're just, they're badass, they get bit. Probably said badass like 400 times so far in this video. Maybe it's a drinking game. Take a drink every time Melican Fishing says badass. Badass, 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 badass. A couple shaky heads, needed some smaller ones. I got a bunch of the big ones. That's cool, that's one of the only company I've seen that makes a wide gap one. Six Cents also came out with more colors of the Mini Mag Square Bill, and uh, yeah, that one's badass. It's called Sleeper Shad. It's got scales on top of it. It's very sexual uh, and badass. <laughs> what else do we got in here? I think we got some, we got some flat 75s. We needed some more flats and bluegill colors. Those would be good to use all year long. <laughs> I had to pick this guy up right here. This is a new color of the, uh, let, me, let me show you guys. This color is called Baby Catfish. It's only in, I think it's only in the Crush 50, so it's a small size square bell. It's silent, the Crush 50 Silent Series, the only one it's in. Um, it's like green pumpkin on the bottom, whitish green pumpkin, and fades to like blue on top. I know it's called a catfish pattern because that's kind of what they look like, but this guy's going to be an awesome bluegill imitator. I, mean, I was also lucky enough to get in on some of the Six Sense Provokes before you guys sold out almost every freaking color. I think this one color is still left for some reason. Look at this thing. It's badass. So I got like four. I said badass again. I got four of these. I think it was some of the last four. This one's called Ghost Gizzard Shad. So it's blue on top, fades to like a gold. But the sides of it, hopefully you guys can see that, have a ton of like iridescent blue and purple on them. Uh, and then the bottom's a little bit white, it's see-through. I've never even used this color and I already know it's gonna be super sick. Also had to pick up a spare of this guy. You guys saw me catch with the muddy water on that chartreuse color. And got this white um, Shad Craft, I believe this is, yes. Had to pick this dude up. This is a new color of, uh, of Quake Thud. It's only in the Thud, I believe. It is called Shad Burst, um, cool chrome, natural chrome looking lipless crankbait. And then we got a whole bunch of uh, hybrid jigs. Literally got cases of hybrid jigs, natural colors, black and blues. You guys know I go through a ton of those. Got some uh, some swim jigs. Um, what do we get? We got bluegill fire, two bluegill fire swim jigs. Super, super good color. And I uh, picked up some skirts. Six Sense actually sells really good looking skirt colors, uh, jig skirt colors, if you guys want to add some to your own jig heads or whatever. Good looking colors. Um, this case has black and blue hybrid jigs. 
This case has green pumpkin crush hybrid jigs, which has kind of become like my favorite color. It's like green pumpkin with some blue blue sparkles on it. Really good color for all different types of conditions. Dark water craw. This is another good color of hybrid jig. This one's like a green pumpkin black and blue combination with a black head. Obviously that guy's a good color. It combines like the two best colors of all freaking time. And then last but not least, we got this little case of sexy badass baits right here five of them i needed five because i know i'm going to go through and get them snagged and such this is the mini mag and my one of my favorite colors six cents makes it's called spring bluegill it's like a chartreuse bluegill pattern really 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 badass okay guys that's it that's all i got for my packages i mean it's not really all I got. That's an insane amount of tackle. I'm a tackle addict like a lot of you guys are too, I'm sure. So always good to, to restock on some old stuff, get some new tackle, some fresh stuff. I always like to experiment. Um, it kind of is to my detriment sometimes because I try baits that are new and spend time learning those instead of just throwing baits that work really well. But that's the fun part of fishing. New stuff's always coming out. You always got to try new baits, new colors, new techniques. Anyways, I'll take it out on this. I think this trip that I'm going on is going to be kind of like my quest for my new PB largemouth bass. A lot of you guys saw the PB video. I think last year I caught 8 pounds, 12 ounces. is my biggest largemouth. I caught it at Lake Fork. And my goal is to break that. I want to break that this weekend. So you guys are going to have to follow along on my adventure, on my quest for my new personal best largemouth bass. I'm so freaking jacked. I'm nervous that it's not going to happen or have an opportunity at it. That's the fun part of fishing. You never know what the hell is going to happen. If you guys like the unboxing style videos, if you like this one, go drop a thumbs up. Comment what you guys want to see for content moving forward, and especially about any of the new baits. Let me know what your favorite new bait was in this entire unboxing that I did. I got to go get packed, get all this stuff put in some boxes so I can get on the road, on the airplane, and uh, get to my destination. But thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I'll catch you very soon. Matt, you. Peace! I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine.